Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you three of our favorite side dishes that you can make for Thanksgiving or you can make for any time. So we all know sweet potatoes are a big deal when it comes to Thanksgiving, but like I said, these can be made for Thanksgiving or for any time of the year that you like. So what we're going to start out doing is we are going to peel and dice four sweet potatoes and throw them right in our bowl. So now we're going to go in and drizzle two tablespoons of olive oil all over our potatoes. You can use melted butter if you choose. Then I'm gonna season it with two tablespoons of brown sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I'm gonna sprinkle over some salt to taste, about a quarter teaspoon, and then mix this all together. we've got everything coated we're gonna pour this right out onto a sheet pan lined with tin foil pop it in the oven to bake at 425 for 30 minutes stirring every 10 minutes until the potatoes are done at this point the potatoes are done you can top with some chopped pecans or walnuts if you wanted to or you can serve them alone as is either way they're really good Next, we are gonna make a childhood favorite of mine. If you are from the South, you have had stewed potatoes before, but if not, let me put you on something my grandma used to make all the time. I have just went ahead and peeled and diced about five to six Yukon Gold potatoes, rinsed them, put them in the pot, fill it full of water, Mm, about an inch or two above the potatoes, set it on high, and bring it to a boil. You want to boil the potatoes until they are fork tender, not soft enough to mash for mashed potatoes. At that point, you're going to mix together two tablespoons of flour and a half a cup of water until it is completely smooth and pour it straight into your potatoes. Let them cook for another three to four minutes so everything will thicken up. flour and water has started to thicken up my potato mixture so I just went ahead and dropped in three tablespoons of butter I'm gonna let that sit in there and melt and while that melts I'm adding in a half a cup of heavy cream you can use milk if you do not have cream and then I'm gonna season I'm gonna measure with my heart but I'm gonna season it with dried minced onion salt and pepper to taste Once you have all of the seasonings in your pot, mix it all together really well and let that simmer for a few minutes and then it is ready to go. I promise it will thicken up more as it sits. Lastly, we are going to change up the whole green bean scene for Thanksgiving. Instead of the traditional green bean casserole, we are going to make some crack green beans. So for this recipe, you need a medium sized skillet. Go ahead and turn your heat on to medium to medium to medium high 
and cut up about a half a pack of bacon. I just used my kitchen shears and cut it right into my pan. Brown this up until it is completely done and crispy. Once the bacon finishes up, you want to remove it from the heat, drain the grease, and then set it to the side. While that's going, we're going to get some butter melted down in a pot, about two to three tablespoons. And while that's melting, I'm going to add in three cans of drained green beans straight into my casserole dish. To the melted butter, I've added two thirds a cup of brown sugar, seven teaspoons of soy sauce, and one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. I'm gonna stir this all together until the sugar melts. Once it is melted, we're gonna pour it right over those green beans. Now it's time to top with our crispy bacon pieces. We're gonna put those all over the top of the green beans, pop it in the oven to bake at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes. guys enjoyed these recipes and decide to give them a try either at your dinner table or at Thanksgiving. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do so. Bye y'all.